It's set on the day of, um, of a funeral, and it's the funeral of my character's daughter and uh, Stephen Arnold's character wife. So he is now left living with his mother-in-law. My character's name is Rose, his is David. And it's the sort of thing, they had um, the, the mother-in-law to live with them because she was getting a bit handicapped. And um, obviously Susan, her only daughter, said, you know, well, you know, we need mum to live with us. He agreed because he loved his wife, but they'd never got on. And uh, Rose always felt that she'd married beneath you know, beneath her. And um, so it was just a question of, you know, Susan was the buffer, but now the buffer has gone. And all of a sudden, these two people have got to learn to live together. Rose, I'm afraid, is, is, not, is not an easy character to live with. She is very dependent, but hates being dependent, and therefore she can get, you know, quite sharp and nasty about it, in actual fact. I mean, some of the stuff she says to David, you know, you think, what a cow. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, the, and I'm, I'm sure that's what the audience thinks as well. And poor David has to put up with this, but there's times that it just gets too much. I phone social services. They'll find me somewhere. Right. What? Ring social services up, Rose. Tell me I'll be placed in a home. Oh, and you'd let me do it, would you? After all that promise I made to Susan rubbish, who gave me? Well, you're not a prisoner, Rose. If you want to do it, then do it. Right. Right. There you go, Rose. Well? I don't know the number. Don't you worry, Rose. I'll get you the number. Social services. There we go. Social services. I can't see the number, can I? Well, don't worry, Rose. I'll do it if you like. Come on, Rose. Come on. Now, can we stop playing these silly games? I think he finds it very difficult to cope with a mother-in-law. Um, you know, it's a strange situation for two people to be, you know, a son-in-law and a mother-in-law living together, but I think that's... That makes the dynamics of the play, you know, putting two people together that you wouldn't necessarily put, necessarily put together. Um, but yeah, it, as, as the play progresses and goes on, you know, they do find more time for each other and work out how each other ticks, you know, and, and they start letting, opening up and stuff, you know, so the, on the journey it does get better. But especially at the start of the play in the first year and the first part of the grieving process, losing Susan, I think he finds it very, very difficult because not only is he putting up with her, he's also having to deal with losing his wife. When Linda showed me this script, she sent it me and just said, "Would well, they have a look at it?" And I just, I, I just felt it was right for me. You know, you read pieces and you think, "Yeah, that's that's right." I mean, I've I've tried to not pick things that are perfect for me because I wanted to challenge myself since I've left Coronation Street. You know, I wanted to do things a bit all than all, but I just fell in love with it. I just thought the humour was there. It had a lot of grit. It um, it was very honest. Your face is obviously very recognisable from the telly, and I find that if I see somebody on off the telly, I smile automatically, and then like half a second later, the brain kicks in, and I think, you don't know this person, they don't know you from Adam, you're looking very stupid at this moment, and you feel really silly. Are you gracious um, in those circumstances? Because I know you have been recognised in Jersey. Yes, of course, you know, I think it's still nice to be recognised, you know, and 99.9% and .9 of people are absolutely lovely and charming about it, you know, it's, it's just people just congratulate you on what you've done. And uh, just before we started doing this interview, you got some brilliant news. Yeah, I've just been nominated for, um, um, I think it's Best Actor at the office. So I've just, I found out about half an hour ago, which is fantastic news. I'm actually over the moon about it. You know, it's, um, you know, we've only had, we've only done two shows and, and to get nominated, it's an absolutely fantastic, um, fantastic thing to happen to me. You know, I'm, I'm over the moon, you know, because I never trained as a stage actor. And to be nominated is just it's just phenomenal really.